In this video, we're going to discuss some of the things that's going on in the industry with Microsoft's applied skills. So if you are out of the loop, Microsoft recently announced their new applied skills, and it's got some of the people in the IT industry really concerned about certifications going away and being replaced with these online assessments. So I really want to spend some time with you and make sure you're very clear on some things and talk about the ups and the downs of all this. All right. And I think that we'll be able to clear all of this up, but uh, let's go ahead and let's get moving into it. So if you missed my video last week, I went through what the Microsoft Applied Skills uh, is actually going to do for you. We went through some of the basics of it, and uh, and we're going to dive a little deeper into it this week. Uh, I will put my video link in the description if you want to check that out from last week. Um, also, I'll put the link to this article in there as well. Microsoft has recently uh, released a Learn document that kind of outlines everything and goes through a lot of the frequently asked questions, and it's going to get to the root of the question of are they replacing certifications? Because that's that's what everybody is. A lot of people out there seem to be really stressed out about. I know that was the first question that popped into my mind when I first uh, heard about this. So let's talk about this. So it says why. You know, why earn a Microsoft skills credential? Well, they tell you that this is going to demonstrate proficiency in a proficiency in a specific scenario based skill. So this is very, very much geared towards uh, a specific skill set and it's very, very hands on oriented. So that's the other thing to be aware of. Um, this is not a broad uh, broad set of topics like a certification is all right getting started with Microsoft applied skills credentials I tell you a great place to get started is over here on the credentials overview now I'm gonna take a look at that but first let me say a couple quick things please I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe I'm trying really hard to get this channel off the ground I know you do have to you create a Google account or something to do that, but I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, ring that notification bell because that will also uh, let you get access to notifications whenever I release my courses free, which I do almost every week. The other thing I wanted to mention is I now, I've been getting asked about this. I have released my, um, I have released my new course, the uh, SC200 certification course anybody interested it's $9.99 right now for the next couple of days on examlabpractice.com slash courses $9.99 right now on Udemy go to examlabpractice.com slash courses and get it for $9.99 all right um, enough shameless promotion <laughs> all right uh, I appreciate you bearing with me on that uh, I really am trying to grow this channel though um, anyway so we'll check out this credentials overview if we open that up and uh, you'll see right here uh, go to credentials FAQ and help applied skills process overview that brings you back over here but if we take a look at this whole applied skills area here um, they've got a whole list of items that you can actually learn when it comes to applied skills all right they their self-paced training they provide though a lot of the complaints right now seem to be there's not really a lot of instructor-led training at all and that's something that I'm hopefully gonna remedy uh, in the in the next month or two I'm going to I'm planning to start uh, releasing little mini courses that I'm not gonna probably charge very much for these but little mini courses on uh, these I've got to go through and take these myself to get a feel for everything so that I get an idea of uh, what needs to be on there but I'm also going to look through all their uh, learn documentation and create my own courses I hope you guys will comment on that and let me know what you think about it um, I'd love to see if there's interest in it because it does take a lot of time to build a course and I want to make sure that people are interested in it before I uh, take on that endeavor okay um, so they mentioned instructor-led training but from what I've seen they have not really uh, released any a lot of uh, material for instructors other than just what's on the website um, so whereas usually they have like official courses and all of that that are driven 
Uh, and then of course, you know, the official courses do usually cost a couple thousand dollars for a five day course, uh, which is one of the reasons why Udemy is, you know, a very convenient way for people to do it. Okay, so anyway, you can go there, credentials, FAQ, it's got some good information on it. I'm gonna go back over here. Uh, so they're talking about how to prepare. Um, there's online documentation for these, getting your results and credentials. They do tell you that with this, you'll be informed of the results within minutes, but can take 24 hours for the results to appear. All right, in your a learning profile. Okay, and they talk a little bit more about that right here. Lab scoring, um, score needed to pass assessments. They tell you that uh, this is gonna vary. Because remember, you are actually going into a lab environment. They're going to give you about two hours. You're going to go into a lab environment, and you're going to, they're going to give you a series of tasks. You will have access to the Internet. You will be able to search things. That's one thing I really uh, tip my hat to Microsoft on. They're making this more like a real-world scenario where you can look things up. And, uh, and all that. Now, I don't really know how they're going to police somebody from just going on YouTube or something and trying to record the whole thing. They probably do have people watching for that, and they'll strike the video down if they see people posting videos on all of the steps. On the flip side, they could potentially use AI or something to randomize things a little bit. So um, it may not be exact, but I'm interested to see kind of where they're going to go with that. They haven't really uh, talked about that yet. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go back over. Yeah, so down here, how does this, how to access the score report? That'll be in your learning profile, just like your certifications and all that. And then um, your score report lets you know if you pass or fail. Uh, chart showing performance on each skill area assessed recommended options for additional learning. They're gonna tell you like what areas you need to study. They're not gonna give you exact details on what you got wrong because then you'll, you know, you would it'd be too easy to know what you need to simply fix. But they're gonna give you a general idea of what needs to be uh, fixed, okay? All right, um, let's see. So here's some frequently asked questions. I received the same score each time I took the assessment. Uh, is something wrong? No, receiving the same score multiple attempts does not indicate an error. It's not uncommon for a candidate, so they're telling you that. Does the score report have a numerical score for each skill? No. We provide an overall passing result as well as uh, skill level information to show your strengths and weaknesses. So you just get an overall pass or fail. <laughs> it reminds me of when I upgraded from my Windows NT4 MCSE to Windows 2000. It was a four-hour exam back uh, back in the day and uh, you just got a pass or a fail. They didn't really give you a whole lot of other information. Uh, the chart showing uh, the skill level shows exact, showed that I performed well in most of the skills. Why didn't I pass? Because each skill is assessed by a different number of tasks. You cannot combine the results across the skills to determine your overall result. In other words, there's no one-to-one -one relationship between skill performance and your pass fail. So they want you to do decently on each general area of the assessment, okay? All right, now the moment we've been waiting for, let's look at their FAQ, and this is gonna answer the big question. Are they replacing certifications? So let's go over here. Are applied skills credentials replacing role certifications? Microsoft just flatly says no, which I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Applied skills credentials are not replacing certifications. We are expanding our credential portfolio to better meet the needs of our learners and customers by allowing people to validate very specific skill sets with this new offering. Certificates are role-based and evaluate, certifications are role-based and evaluate a wider range of skills needed to successful in critical roles that organizations need to be successful in today's rapidly changing technical environment. Okay, so applied skill credentials are scenario based and evaluate a narrower skill set that is specific to a, uh, cr a critical business problem or challenge. Now, here's the thing I still say these are great, and I think that they're fantastic to put on a resume for sure. So um, I'm, I'm really excited about all this. And so, but the main thing is they're not replacing certifications, okay? Or at least they're they're saying they're not. You know, you never know with Microsoft in the next. It's like when they said that Windows 10 was going to be the last operating system that ever came out. 
the, for the client side. We saw where that went. Um, so who knows? But uh, as of right now, that is what they're saying. That is their stance, that they are not getting rid of certifications. All right. Um, so how do I choose between this, uh, between certification applied skills? So here are some key differences. Breadth of skills, validated certifications typically validate four to six skill sets, while applied skills validate one specific skill set. Focus, certifications are job role based, while applied skills are product based. Uh, purpose, certifications are intended to validate skills needed for the technical aspects of job roles that leverage Microsoft solutions and the technologies, while applied skills are intended to validate specific scenarios that may be hindering an organization's digital transformation goals. Okay. Will attending a applied skills credential help me pass the certification exam? Gist of that is that it can because there's some overlap, but there's no guarantee. I already have a role-based certification. Should I pursue? Same thing. Yes, you should. You you if you want to demonstrate specific um, skill sets, then applied skills are going to be great. I'm just getting started on my Microsoft credential journey. What should I pursue first, applied skill or fundamental certification? And of course, the answer to that is it depends. Um, and they give this little thing right here. If you click this link, you get this uh, little graphic. And the goal is to try to kind of say, OK, well, what, what are you looking for? Uh, Microsoft certifications validate a broad technical, technical proficiency, while applied skills validates one specific skill. Role based for context, this is project based. For scope, you got breadth of skills. Over here, you got scenario specific skills. Format, this is exam with interactive elements. This is also very much proctored and protected environment. Assessment via internet lab experience, this is not. You. This is more like real world where you can actually look stuff up. Um, flexibility, you schedule this, this is on demand. You can do this when you want, you get about a two hour block. Okay. So you can click on these little items here too, and they'll take you to uh, to this area. You can see these are the different applied skills that are available. All right, and um, I might eventually do some videos just on the specific ones, but they don't have very many available just yet. But they are growing. They're gonna they're gonna start adding more of these as time goes on. Okay, so I can go back over here again. This is all interactive click these little links and they take you over here or if you want to learn more about certifications we can click this link over here it'll bring me over and let me look at certifications all right all right so hopefully this little video has cleared up some st uh, some information for you again I am gonna put the link to this art to this uh, FAQ and all that in the description of this video so you can check that out and um, and I uh, hope that uh, you got something out of this and uh, I hope again you'll give me a like and a subscribe. I'm working real hard to grow this channel and um, trying to build upon it. Don't forget about $9.99 for the next couple of days on my newest course, SC200. I've had lots of people ask me about it. Finally released it. It took me a very long time to release to get this course out. I think it's roughly 14 hours worth of training. Check that out if you will. And um, again, hope you're enjoying uh, the content here. Hope to bring you more content and. Um, I uh, would love to interact with you in the comments. Well, that'll be it for uh, for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.